This has been a real treat tonight. Never seen Henry and, and, and every night is not the same. Some nights, it's, you know, the poker can be, I will call it, a little dry, right? But tonight is certainly not one of those. I hope you guys are enjoying the show. I am. Oh. <laughs> All right, you guys can say. Oh. <laughs> Wait, who needs who needs a button? Is it Henry or is it Dylan? Okay. Henry is the best defender. The defense has been profitable so far. Yeah. Oh, we got another action flop here. Henry has just flopped the world. Open-ended straight flush draw with Queen High, which is the best hand. Mariano with a lower flush draw, can only win this with a five or a four. How big does this pot get? This could be dangerous. This could definitely be dangerous. Now the board does pair with that club. 13-7 in the pot. So we know the pot's gonna get bigger. Oh, and Henry checks it back. Okay, no double paired board, so we're gonna get some money in on the river. But Henry checks back the flush on a paired board. And depending on the sizing of Mariano, Henry does not necessarily need to raise. Now the, the question is, if Mariano bets and Henry does raise, does Mariano call? 13-7 in there. We've seen some amazing bluffs and now we see a cooler. Okay. Mariano checks again. Well, Henry's certainly going to bet. Both players' hands a bit under-repped as it went check, check on the flaw, on the turn. And then Mariano checked again. Henry's sizing not that large. I mean, he goes about 50% pot. Mariano's obviously never folding. Another situation for Mariano, it could have been a lot worse for Mariano, no doubt about it. I think considering it's a flush over flush situation, he is going to escape relatively unscathed. Obviously he's gonna lose money, but not nearly as much as it could have been. Fuck. Thank God I didn't raise. Jesus. Yeah, see there you go. I mean, ace-king versus aces, he lost the minimum. Flush over flush, he lost the minimum once again, really. And uh, Mariano is down on the night, but... That doesn't even seem fair. Yeah, I mean, but in fairness, he's down on the night, but not nearly as bad as it could have been. How much? 56? 5,600. Jacks again, this time for Henry. And Jew picking a bad time to four bet, presumably. Don't think Henry's gonna fold, but we'll see how it plays out. Seventy-six hundred dollars in the pot, four thousand to call. All right, call. Let's go. Heads up. Four bet from Jew, and we're gonna see a call. So we'll see a flop now. Queen high flop, two hearts. Two with uh, less than 1% chance of winning this hand if it goes to showdown. It has to be done. 35. Finally, I'm oh, in the right move. 285. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, right. right. Just, you know, the hands played themselves. They played themselves. Yeah. Yeah. 
five off suit, base deck suit. You got a lot of heart, let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, let's, yeah, let's call it heart. Yeah, we'll call oh, it heart. Yeah. It makes it sound yeah. good. Case Jack on the turn. How does that happen? There might be six jacks in this, in this deck. 18 6 in the pot. She was now going to check. Now that he's got showdown value, Henry will bet. I would imagine. The saving grace for Jew is that the flop is queen high. And he bet the flop and got called. So at this point, it's just very easy for your opponent to have a queen in their hands. And this is a big bet 16 into 18 6. Jew is up, uh, he's up big tonight. He's one of our big winners. He's at risk of giving away some of those winnings right here, though. All in. Oh, no! All in. Jew just moved all in, and he's drawing dead. I just have one pair. One pair? Yeah, I think you're drawing dead. Yeah, I'm dead. All right, so one time then, right? Yeah. Wow. One time, ready? $164,000 pot. Jew has played absolutely fantastic poker all night, but such is the nature of no limit hold'em. One mistake, and it all goes away. Jew decides to turn his pair of jacks into a bluff. Little does he know that Henry, with a set of jacks, has him drawing dead. And in the biggest pot of the night, it is that man right there who has just been felted. Henry, an enormous winner tonight. What a dream scenario for the man on the right side of your screen. Kind of encouraged, really. It's okay. Right hand punting is fine. Something's okay. We all do it. Alex on it. Dan. We know Dan does it. I do it a little bit. You know, we all do it. It's okay. Forget the odds. Forget your outs. It's just, it was time to punt. And that's it. I should have just caught and then chopped him and I wouldn't have lost anything. Yeah. Well, you would have lost, actually, the opportunity to learn from the hand, which now you have. I could have learned anyway. You wouldn't have been thinking this deeply about it. Seventy. Um, I still don't know. No. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. You'd be sitting there giggling, thinking about Nick Airball. Seventy-one. Seventy-one. What a turn of events as Magic counts out the chips. Twenty. Forty. Fifty. Really close. You won the first hand. Jew, who was up. Over 40,000 is now I never doubted it. I never doubted it for very deeply in the red.